If he had had the ball races out like he's supposed to, Ray would never have missed that kick. Have you noticed that kickers in the NFL are hitting field goals from 50 yards like chip-ins? I remember when a 50-yard field goal was barely in range, and if the game came down to a kick from that far, everyone held their breath. It looks like those days are over with. During the 2023 season, kickers across the NFL completed trials of 50 yards or more at a higher rate than Shaq scoring in the paint during any season of his entire career. Which is amazing since O'Neal, who is arguably the most dominant basketball player of all time, rarely took a shot outside of the paint. To put it into better context, in golf, there's a stat for scrambling. Not that type of scrambling, but if you wanted to see that type of scrambling, you can see that video right here. Anyway, back to the topic. Scrambling in golf is a stat that calculates how good a player's short game is. It measures when a chip or putt from less than 50 yards away results in one putt or less on the green. The stat is worked by dividing successful scrambles by a number of greens missed. Tiger Woods, the greatest golfer we have seen in 2023 years, had his best year in 2000. That year consisted of 10 tournament wins, three of those being majors. The most remarkable year of golf to date, and he still did not touch the accuracy rate of kickers today from 50 yards out or longer. Are we witnessing an elite era of kicking? Is this a new trend? Or have kickers always been hitting bombs consistently? To figure this out, I had to do some research. Looking over one or two years wasn't gonna be enough to see the big picture of where we currently are. But by breaking down four seasons over a 30 year span, we will get a much clearer picture. The seasons, 2023, 2013, 2003, and 1993. Let's start way back in 1993. The three most accurate kickers in the league at this time were Norm Johnson, Gary Anderson, and Al Del Greco. The longest made field goal of the season was a 59-yarder by Steve Christie. Jeff Jager led the NFL in points with 132 after making 35 field goals and 27 extra points. During the 1993 season, there were 131 field goals attempted over 50 yards, with 60 of those hitting the mark. In 2003, the three most accurate kickers were Mike Vanderjet, who had a perfect season, going 37 for 37, Jason Hansen, who only missed one field goal, and Jeff Wilkins, who was almost automatic as well. The longest field goal of the season belonged to Josh Brown with a 58-yarder. The league leader in points was Jeff Wilkins with 163 points from 39 made field goals and 46 extra points. The number of 50-yard field goals attempted and made dropped in 2003 to 38 made and 60 attempted. In 2013, Matt Prater led the way in accuracy, going 26 for 26, followed by Stephen Hoshka at 94%. And in third, Sean Sweezum with 93%. The longest field goal of the season was a bomb for Matt Prater, a 64-yarder, which at the time was an NFL record. A big jump from 2003. Justin Tucker also hit a 60-yard field goal that year. And Steven Goskowski was the lead leader in points with 158, after hitting 38 field goals and 44 extra points. During the 2013 season, there were 96 field goals of 50 yards or more made, while 143 were attempted. This past season, 2023, there was a tie at 96 to lead the NFL between Nick Folk and Kaimi Fairburn, with Brandon Aubrey as number three with 94%. The longest field goal of the season was Matt Prater again, 10 years later with a 62-yarder. There were also four others who hit 60-yard field goals this year, Jake Elliott, Joey Sly, Brandon Aubrey, and Harrison Buckner. The NFL leader was Brandon Aubrey with 157 points on 36 made field goals and 49 made extra points. And to end our study, in 2023, there was an increase in both made and attempted field goals over 50 yards. 221 attempted, 158 made, which calculates to 71% accuracy. Over the last 30 years, there's been a 25% increase in successful attempts and field goals 50 yards and longer, while the number of made field goals has increased by 98. After reviewing the numbers, I'm not surprised. Every week I watch kickers hit bombs. And while it may have been treated regular by everyone else, to all my kickers out there, I see you. If you made it to the end of the video, I want to tell you thank you for watching. Your support is fueling this channel. If this was your first time, welcome. And you're in the right place. Till next time.